Hi, I'm Jenny Wick with Jack W. here uh, on the Sonoma Plaza, and I'm here to talk to you about Thanksgiving tablescaping. And wanted to just give you some ideas today about ways that you can make your Thanksgiving special and unique. So um, we have here a display that we've created as an inspiration for Thanksgiving. And for me, this year of Thanksgiving is all about gratitude and being kind to yourself. So creating very low expectations for what Thanksgiving must be or should be, because if you're ever gonna get a chance to create a Thanksgiving exactly the way you want it to be, this is your year. So if you don't like turkey, don't feel obligated. If you want crab or cioppino, lean in to what is gonna make you feel really good um, about Thanksgiving. The other thing that's wonderful about this Thanksgiving is you probably aren't hosting for a huge 20 or 30 person group. So you can find really wonderful moments to make things feel really special on your table without having to worry about um, filling your table with tons of different wares. I just wanted to walk you through a little bit of the, um, the details that we uh, placed on our table here to make it feel special. So one thing that I love to do at Thanksgiving is to source items from out in nature. It's a great excuse to go for a walk, just feel the fresh air, and it's a really quick, easy way to dress up your table for zero money. So what I did this year was um, I went into my backyard and we have bay laurel bushes growing and I just cut a bunch of these. It took me about five minutes and I placed them here on the table along just a really simple linen runner. and. Um, and in five minutes, I had a beautiful, natural kind of base for my Thanksgiving table. And then on top of that, I like to layer it with a beautiful centerpiece. And I keep it really low. And the reason why I keep it low is because when you're sitting at a table, you want to be able to look across the table and talk to people. So to have big candles or big vases is just going to impede your ability to connect. And that's really what we want to do is sit and chat and drink wine and have good food and just connect and relax. So um, the vase that I have here in the center is made by a local potter here, um, Jared's Pottery. He's based in Emeryville. He actually sources all of his clay from Sonoma County, and then he creates his own mixture, hand glazes it, fires it in his, uh, his studio in Emeryville. And um, we use this little um, kit, or you can just buy these items from like a Freedman's or your local hardware. And again, I just sourced flowers from my own garden. Really. Um, not overthinking it. Um, so these are items that we have available here or you can find things from your own, uh, from your own home. Um, the other thing that we did was um, in this new era of being aware of items that we're touching and things not wanting to kind of cross contaminate, um, we have brought in these really beautiful glassware collections uh, the Rialto glassware. They're made in Turkey, they're hand cut, and they come in these really wonderful, beautiful colors. And together as a collection, they really make such a nice statement. So it's a beautiful way to put a little pop of color on your table and also be clear as to who has the light green glass and who has the dark green glass without making it feel really awkward. It's fun, right? So everything that we're doing this year for Thanksgiving is about bringing a little lightness and brightness and fun to your holiday. The last little touch I like to do is a bit of sparkle. I feel like every table needs a little moment of brightness and sparkle and so we use these little tea lights from a company called Skoltuna. They're based in Sweden and founded in 1607, so everything they do is brass. And again, it's a really small little moment, but it adds just a little bit of a twinkle to the table and it's a really easy way to incorporate something bright and fun. Um, so the last thing I wanted to talk about is something new that we've brought into the store. Um, it's our gnomes that are behind me. So the Swedish gnomes are such a wonderful way to add a little happiness to people that you can't be with. So if you can't be with your family members during the holidays, you are not alone. A lot of us are spending the holidays in our own little groups and um, to send somebody a gnome is a way to let them know that you're thinking about them and you can create a group of gnomes, you can have a single gnome, and no matter what, somebody is gonna see that little gnome and know that someone somewhere far away loves them and is thinking of them. So I really hope that you have 
found a way to make this holiday season special for you and that you can lean into the moment, really care for yourself, enjoy it, find the brightness in it, and I hope I've given you a little inspiration for your upcoming Thanksgiving celebration. Thank you so much.